Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Today we are back in DCS in the Mission Editor and I'm just quickly going to show you how we can play some sites quickly. Okay, so obviously there, there are two methods you can do it. There's one way you can select your ground unit and then go ahead and individually place all of the assets needed to create a functioning SAM site or what uh, Eagle Dynamics have done uh, they've given us some templates we can use so if we just zoom in anywhere, I can know down here is roughly flat. If we come across to the left hand side here, create or modify templates. We have for the USA, we have a Hawk SAM battery system, uh, battery system reinforced, or a Patriot site. So we just go ahead, click that, and then click on the map, and it places a functioning SAM system for us. If we zoom out. It will give us some information. So I think the yellow line is the detection zone, and then the red line around a ring around it is the engagement zone. And that's how to place a SAM system. We also have some for other countries as well. So if we go to Russia, we've got some different options there: SA11, two, threes, and sixes. Um, not every country will have um, SAM system. So Croatia, for example, you know, there's nothing there to select. Um, if we go down to the UK, they have the uh, Rapier SAM system. So again, we can just go ahead and just click them anywhere on the map and it places them. So it, it, we'll see if you wanted to be, I don't know, Austria, um, and they were you were on the blue side, you'd probably have to use another uh, country such as the USA to uh, place a SAM system uh, for your coalition. Uh, so if we go ahead and just select SA2, boom. No, do as simple as that. We have our blue forces and our red forces for SAM systems, and that's it. That is the quickest way to place a SAM system. Um, that's probably for those users that are new to DCS that uh, probably struggle on how to create your own. So, thankfully, like I said, Eagle Dynamics have created a template for us. And to be honest, this is what I use uh, probably well 100% of the time, it's just easy. Um, so I hope you found uh, this little tutorial useful, certainly for those new users out there. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to help you out where I can. And as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.